Hi guys, I hope you've had a really, really fantastic week in this amazing hot weather. Maybe you've been splashing around in your paddling pool or helping your grown up plants from seeds or flowers in the garden or even getting ice cream all around your face. I've been doing a lot of that. This week we're looking at a story that was in the Old Testament. This story is about a guy called David before he killed the giant called Goliath. This is a story of God sending a guy called Samuel to find a person with a good heart to be the next king after Saul. This is a story that shows us what God cares about. Saul was a good king for about 20 years, but then he began to disobey God. God was sorry that he had made Saul the king, and Samuel was sad about it too. God sent Samuel to a man named Jesse to find a brand new king. When Samuel met Jesse, he said, I would like to meet your sons. When Samuel saw them, he thought, oh, these are good, strong looking men. They might make great kings. But God said, I do not look at the outside of a person. I look at the inside of a person. I look at their heart. Samuel asked Jesse, do you have another son? Jesse said, yes, his name is David, but he's out in the field with the sheep. Samuel asked to see him. As soon as David arrived, God told Samuel, he is the one I want to be the next king. Samuel anointed David. He poured oil on David's head and David was filled with God's power. And in this story, we can see that God cares about what's on the inside, not on the outside. He doesn't care if we have muscle or what we look like. God picked David to be the next king even though David was the youngest and the littlest of Jesse's sons. God picked David because he knew that he was the bravest and the kindest and the most loving. He knew he would be the best one for the job. And there's a place inside all of us that only God can see. And we call that place our hearts. People can see what we're doing on the outside. They can see what we look like. They can see how we do our hair and how we dress. But God can see what we're like on the inside too. He can see what we believe in and what we're feeling and he can see our character. In this story, we can see that God cares way more about what's in your heart than about how we look. He loves you so much and he thinks you're so special just the way you are. Even though he already knows everything about us, he absolutely loves it when we go and listen and speak to him about everything and anything. You could speak to him about how high you jumped yesterday and how that made you feel. You can speak to him about how much you love playing with your cars and with your family. And you can speak to him about how you're feeling, if you're feeling happy or if you're feeling a bit sad or a bit worried. He cares about everything you have to say. And the really cool part is that he speaks to us too. So why don't we have to go listening to him for a bit? You might want to find a little bit of carpet or floor. And after you've got all your wiggles out and had a little bit of a dance, why don't you lie down like we do in Sleeping Lions um, and let God talk to us? And he can talk to us in so many different ways. You might get a funny feeling in your tummy or a word or a picture in your mind. Or you might not feel anything at all. And that is totally okay. We know that God loves us and God is always with us. Have a fantastic week. I'm going to go do that and I'll let you do that too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.